seven types of love, but only one will last forever. What is love? Philosophers, poets, and scientists have tried to answer this question for centuries. In the 1980s, American psychologist Robert Sternberg developed the triangular theory of love to provide an answer. His theory explains that love is an interaction between three things – emotional intimacy, passion, and commitment. And you should certainly listen to Sternberg as he's one of the most cited psychologists of the 20th century according to the scientific journal Review of General Psychology. From this model, Sternberg later created distinctions between the seven types of love to accurately explain the crazy emotions we feel toward our partner. Check to see if you've experienced any of them and if you've reached number one. But before you quiz yourself, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to be one of the first brightsiders to watch our videos. Number 7. Infatuation This is the place where romantic love usually begins. It's that messy stage of crazy feelings and burning passion that makes you feel like you're the king or queen of the world. Have you experienced it? With this type of love, the two people don't know many intimate details about one another, and yet they feel a strong mutual attraction. The partners couldn't tell you about the other's deep secrets, desires, or most important goals in life, but they could tell you what they find romantic, attractive, and sexually desirable. There is no idea of commitment here. It's all about fun and passion. This type of love can transform into something more over time if emotional intimacy and commitment are added into the mix, but this doesn't always happen. Many couples don't get beyond this type of love and prefer to move from one infatuated relationship to the next. Number 6. Liking In this type of relationship, you can always be yourself. You don't have to pretend or hide anything. Here, people are united by common interests, views on life, and the feeling of being understood. A couple can say what the other person considers their favorite hobby, what their close circles of friends look like, and what their dreams are. They can recall trivial details, from knowing that their partner had pasta for lunch to knowing that their partner's greatest goal in life is helping others. They are very strong in the emotional intimacy area, which leads to feelings of trust, loyalty, friendship, and bonding toward the other person. This type of love doesn't necessarily develop into romantic love. Liking without passion and commitment will more likely result in a very close and fulfilling friendship than full-fledged love. But partners can start a relationship as intimate friends and discover that feelings of passion develop later on. Number 5. Empty Love Couples experiencing this type of love are very committed to one another. The word empty refers to a lack of emotional intimacy and passion. This type of relationship sometimes appears after a big and intense love that faded over time. In other situations, such as arranged marriages, empty love can be a starting point that later evolves into a full romantic love with passion and intimacy. In either case, intimacy and passion can be brought in. If this is the type of love you're experiencing, don't worry too much about it. This type of love means that the partners show their love for each other through their commitment to one another. The relationship is particularly strong in matters of faithfulness and stability. Number 4. Fatuous Love This type of love includes commitment and passion and is familiar to many couples. It exists when two people are really attracted to each other and are ready to take the next steps of getting married and sharing responsibilities. They feel so passionate about each other that they are willing to make certain commitments. But emotional intimacy is out of the picture here. To the outsider, they look great with each other and other people can't imagine anything ever separating them. You might see a couple who looks so passionate and committed to each other that it's a little embarrassing to be in their presence. Though they feel passionate and might even live together, they might not perceive each other as friends and might not associate friendship with marriage. In terms of passion, they will turn to each other for romance, sex, fun, and adventure. In terms of commitment, they will also seek each other out to be a stable force in life. When it comes to something that deeply hurts them or something about which they feel embarrassed or vulnerable, they might turn away and seek emotional intimacy from friends and family. 
Such couples can live together for a long time, but their happiness depends on the fact that the partners don't require emotional intimacy from each other. Number 3. Romantic Love This kind of love is a combination of passion and emotional intimacy. Many romance movies show couples experiencing the romantic type of love. They show you how it takes two people years to find each other, and then they go through a series of problems before finally getting back together at the end. If they don't show what happens after they reunite or they avoid a wedding scene at the end, that represents the romantic type of love. These couples are deeply attracted to each other and share intimate experiences with one another, but they're not ready to make serious commitments. They consider each other friends and feel linked to the other person. This isn't always enough to make them want to commit, though. And some relationships of this type don't reach the level of cohabitation or marriage. Commitment might be desired by one partner, but not the other. They could also both live happily together without making legal or spiritual commitments to one another. Number 2. Companionate Love this type of love can be seen in couples who live together, are deeply committed to one another, and treat each other as friends. Companionate love is built on commitment and emotional intimacy. Such relationships are much stronger than an ordinary friendship, and there's a true attachment between the partners. This is a rather chaste agreement because this type of love lacks passion, so romance, kissing, and sex are usually not involved. These couples like to spend time together, they might like the same hobbies, and can be in the same space doing separate things. But since passion is non-existent, don't expect to see one bringing flowers to the other. Companionate love can develop after many years of being married, or it can be the arrangement from the start. This type of love can also be seen in relationships between family members and platonic relationships with friends. Number 1. Consummate Love Consummate love is also called complete love in the Sternberg model. It involves the three components of his theory coming together – passion plus emotional intimacy plus commitment. This creates a vision of the ideal type of love. Couples that fit this type might continue to be sexually intimate for the rest of their lives, talking long into the night about how their day went and the things that are most important to them. They remain loyal to one another year after year. You rarely see this type of relationship. If people manage to build them, it's cause for admiration. In this type of love, the levels of passion, emotional intimacy, and commitment aren't perfectly balanced, but it's important to note that they're all present. If a couple lives with consummate love, but one of the components, like passion, starts to wear off, they might go into companionate love. If you wish to reach or regain consummate love and haven't made it, just know that this process takes a long time and a lot of effort. Once you have it, maintaining consummate love will take a lot of hard work. To stay at this level, couples must continue working on their relationship year after year. If you find yourself between two types of love, remember that these classifications aren't black and white. Some couples move in and out of the categories and evolve to reach consummate love. Others might be perfectly happy living as companions or romantic partners. Achieving a certain type of love might be very important to a couple. Others might prefer to take a more laid-back approach. It's all about personal preference. Share this video with the person that makes your heart beat faster, and tell us if you've experienced any of these types of love. Are you looking to achieve a particular one, or do you like where you're at right now? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.